This is our generator interlock kit, and as we pan in here, I'll explain how it works. In our state, you're required to having a way of locking your panel off the grid if you're going to backfeed it using a generator system. If you don't take your house off the grid, when you backfeed your box, you'll also get be backfeeding your surrounding power lines, which could be quite dangerous. So you're basically looking at the only real specialty item for the whole thing. This is a specially made plate, which will only allow either the breaker on the right hand side underneath of it to be on and the main breakers to be off or vice versa. This is made for our square D box and they are designed for each, you know, like color hammer and such uh, boxes. So it's not like they're universal. You have to actually pay attention to what box you do have. Besides that, pretty much everything else is off the shelf at like your local Home Depot Lowe's. As you look at this, just keep in mind, we're actually off grid at the moment because of the tree falling on a power line. And that's pretty much why I'm making this video. So the way the system works is you turn off the mains, which allows you to slide the lock upwards. And that allows the bottom dog leg of the lock to clear the breakers down here at A, down at the bottom right. So the breaker down here at A is actually a 60 amp dual phase, you know, your basic 220 breaker, but 60 amps. And it's actually becomes an input for the rest of the panel. We use 200 amp service wire to connect the breaker to the outlet that's outside for the generator, but we'll get to that in a moment. As we pan down here, you'll see that I've actually gone ahead and color-coded every breaker on what phase it's on and as we go over here and look at our watt meter you'll understand why now this is not a required by law item but in our opinion it's a must-have for anybody who's using a generator system and has all their breakers to select from generators like it when the load on each phase is balanced and not like extreme on one side or the other so our meter allows us to see exactly how much we're using off of each phase from the generator and being color coded one's a little low one's a little high we can add breakers or take one off and equal the load out as equal as possible and that way we're not burning our generator up on one phase so up the stairs we go and out to the garage to our first stop, which is our garage sub panel we installed along with the generator system. And yes, it's also color coded so we know what phase everything goes on. And then out to our generator. This is our Honda 10,000 watt generator. This is a little big for an emergency situation, but being our house, everything runs off of electric, including the well. We thought it was necessary to have something a little more stout. We use the typical 220 outlet on the front of the generator to a service cord, 200 amp service cord, that runs over to an outlet, or actually it's an inlet in the wall next to the driveway, and that way our generator is really easily accessible. This is another thing we splurged on for our system. It's a waterproof inlet that when not in use, just the flap on top just closes up and it looks like anything else on the normal inside of the house. And it comes with a specialty plug that doesn't really match anything else I've ever seen before. And you stick it in and you twist it into place and it locks and it only can go in one way and it only comes out one way and that way there is no confusion on it being an outlet or anything else but exactly what it is and the way the whole system is designed it can never be hot unless the generator is actually plugged into it and running and that's our system just have to turn, plug the generator in 
go downstairs, flip the mains off, turn on the back feed breakers. You still have to choose which breakers you do want to use, being that the generator is limited power. But having all the breakers available as an option is far better than what the automatic systems that seem to only have a limited amount of breakers that can be switched over automatically. And we think this gives us better options. Just try to keep the loads balanced as much as possible. And it's pretty uh, simple system and works for us. Thanks for watching.